There's a leadership um, thought from the example of Jesus in the books of Luke and John. In the area of responsibility, Jesus gave responsibilities to others that they could fulfill. So it doesn't matter who is on your team, there's something they can do. There's some area in which they can participate. They're not just there when you're training somebody, you're not, they're not just there to watch you. There's something they can do. You know, although God, Jesus was God and he could do anything, Jesus chose to give responsibility to others in areas that they could contribute. He, he involved the disciples in the miracle of feeding 5,000 people. He did the miracle, but the disciples distributed the food. The disciples had the people sit down. He, he gave them a responsibility of doing their part in, in that miracle. In, uh, in Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 14, Jesus heals 10 lepers, but he gives them the responsibility to go to the priest and show themselves to the priest so they could be declared healed. But they had a responsibility. He gave them something to do, even though he could have done it all. And if you're a leader, you're probably pretty capable. But you do your team a real disservice if you do everything. If you're able to do everything, but release things, let them be part of the process. Jesus' very first miracle, he exemplifies this in the, in the wedding of Cana. He, um, you know what, if Jesus can turn water into wine, he can fill the jars with wine. He didn't have to get water in there first, but he did it that way so that the people could be involved with the process and they could fulfill some of the responsibilities. So he had servants fill the water jars with water, which then he turned into wine. Give your team something to give them responsibilities that they can fulfill. Don't do it all yourself. That's not what Jesus did. He gave others a responsibility as they did a task together.